This is TomorrowPictures.tv. I didn't breathe. George Floyd. Uh, I'm going to in Washington, D.C. We're going to do something that uh, people have to see before. In the brief span of 30 odd years, the world has seen an inventor's dream. This is no simple reform. Freedom and human dignity. It really is a revolution. You could ask yourself a question. Teach you how to kill. Do I feel lucky? We're like the stupid people. Far more powerful than anything man has yet devised. Inspiration and hope. Life is visceral. Tearing down that wall. Buy a man for a man. Because we had stupid politicians doing stupid things. Let's get this straight. The United States. Enough on his life. Boldly, frankly, and boldly. Stupid. And what Trump does is that divide and conquer. He just keeps dividing everyone. And then he keeps giving reasons. There are people over there that at least 33% didn't even want slavery to end. And so there is an economic issue, but there's also a social issue. I don't care about the economic, I do care about the economic issue, but not as much as the social issue. When they might be worried about losing their jobs to immigrants, when maybe you just gotta work harder, because I'm not, because the immigrants, they, they do work hard, because they try to escape the lands that are impacted in one way or another by the U.S. I'm worried about surviving, not being dehumanized as a human man, whether, whether it be a, a homosexual or a transgender or a bisexual or a black person. We can't deny it just, just because we're not saying it directly doesn't mean it's not there. Were you protesting as you went in or did you just have signs like a quiet We We had nothing. Everything was in our pockets. We had nothing. Really? Yeah. They ran out of seats. How far did you come to be here today? Uh, about five hours. <laughs> no, 45 minutes. <laughs> Is that your friend with the Trump sign? In yeah. The so what do you like about Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> There's too many things to list. There's too many things to count. <laughs> How about number one? Number one thing. He's sexist. Right, Gabrielle? You got me. Everything. His hair. His hair. His hair. His spray hair. tan. <laughs> Any political issues that you're concerned about with his policies? Um, well, definitely. He doesn't even have a policy, so that's a big <laughs> issue. Um, definitely how we keep saying that we have to keep Muslims out of this country because re religion shouldn't be tied into the whole state or the whole state and the country and the law that we have around this country. Anyone should be allowed in. Religion shouldn't have a bearing on that. Have you uh, ever seen anything like this before with any other politician? <laughs> um, not necessarily on our campus. I hadn't been alive for too many elections before this, so I'll be honest in saying that I haven't seen many protests. But I think that bringing someone as um, controversial as Trump to a very liberal, open-minded campus is really frustrating because a lot of the things he says goes against our civility statement. And if there was anyone else on our campus who were saying the hateful, hurtful things that he was saying, they would ask to be removed. But since he's being considered for a presidential candidate, they've allowed him to be on campus. And I think that you can see with every other student out here the passion and love that is coming out because we want to have our country open for everyone and we want everyone's voices to be heard. Uh, tonight we'd like to say a uh, special thanks. We don't have much time to thank everybody, and especially to our friends in the business and to our wonderful friends here and all of you out there for your great loyalty. Justice will be served. I would simply like to say that I think this has been one of the great days of America.